from the theater at Madison Square Garden comes a night of spectacular stand-up fighting. The four finest kickboxers in the lightweight division will battle for the Glory Tournament Championship. The top three contenders attempt to topple the king, Giorgio the Dr. Petrosian, pound for pound the best kickboxer in the world. Andy Risty, unorthodox, aggressive, hungry for the number one spot. Robin Van Roosmalen ranked number one, but yet to beat the doctor. And the relentless, fearsome David Kiria all bring their A-game to claim the belt, the glory, and the greatest scalp in stand-up fighting. Warren Stiebelmans and Kai Hollenbeck square off in a ferocious lightweight bout before the mighty Moroccan Jamal Ben Sadiq takes on hard-hitting glory newcomer Ben the Governor Edwards in a monstrous heavyweight showdown. And in our mind-blowing middleweight matchup, brace yourselves for a colossal clash of the U.S. Titans as West Coast warrior Joe Schilling faces off against New York knockout artist Wayne Barrett. Six big fights are ready to rock the Big Apple. New York, it's time for glory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Suriname and Italy square off in the other half of our semifinal bracket as Andy Risti takes on Giorgio Petrosian. I'm going to be fighting Petrosian in the first fight. I think Petrosian's style of fighting is boring. His eyes is very good, and when you make some faults, and he take it over. He's, he's don't come to fight. He's come to stand, and, and uh, it's not a style of fighting. In the end, it's difficult for an adversary abbastanza scorretto, poco tecnico per quanto mi riguarda. Ha i colpi forti con le ginocchia è pericoloso. Dico che sicuramente sarà spettacolo. Le parole possiamo parlare quanti ne vogliamo. Bisogna mostrare i fatti su ring. Petrosian, I come to fight with you. I come not to play with you. I know you never lose before, but watch me now. It's the first time I'm coming to you. I'm gonna kick your Hello everyone, this is Don Royd and thank you for joining us here on Fightbox for this historic moment. It is the second semi-final matchup for the Glory Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. We already know that Robin Van Roosmalen has defeated David Kiria. And right now we are getting set for a fight which I'm sure is going to blow the roof off of Madison Square Garden as Giorgio, the Dr. Petrosian, is gonna take on Andy Risti in our second semifinal matchup. You heard the, what the comments that they made earlier, Petrosian saying that Risti is a dirty fighter, Risti saying that Petrosian is boring and that he's gonna kick his you know what. So all the trash has been talked and all the words have been spoken and now it's time to get into the ring and prove once and for all who is the top lightweight in the world in professional kickboxing. Ladies it's Petrosian versus Risti. His way to the glory ring. He is undefeated in four prior glory starts and has never shied away from standing in with the world's elite. Here is Andy Risti. The 31-year-old Risti has been everywhere and done everything. One of the top fighters in the world in his weight class. Comes in ranked at number four. But I'll tell you what, with the kind of competition that you can find in the lightweight division here in glory, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a ranking of number four. When you've got guys like Van Roosmalen, Petrosian, Risti, Kiria, all vying for that number one spot. That's that's the cream of the crop, ladies and gentlemen.
his opponent, considered by many to be the best pound for pound fighter in the world. He was the 2012 Fighter of the Year, who arrives in New York on a six year win streak. Ladies and gentlemen, Giorgio Petrosian. Big round of applause from this New York crowd for Giorgio Petrosian. As you heard, he is undefeated. He's 5-0 and in glory. He only has one blemish on his record. That was back in 2007 in Thailand. Petrosian also fights a lot under Muay Thai rules. And uh, Glory is calling him pound for pound the best kickboxer in the world. And I would be hard pressed to disagree. Giorgio Petrosian fighting out of Italy is originally from Armenia. Also has a brother, which is a pretty good kickboxer as well, Armin. So we take a look at the tail of the tape. Just 27 years old is Petrosian. Risty a little bit older, an inch taller, a pound heavier, and a little bit longer of a reach. So as far as the stats, everything leaning a little bit in favor of Risty. But as far as the records are concerned, uh, Petrosian has a, a bit more experience and more knockouts. Three, three minute rounds and introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this Muay Thai specialist was a WKN Intercontinental Champion as an amateur. His professional record, 39 wins, three losses, one bout scored even, 19 wins by knockout. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters. Weighed in at fight time at an even 153 pounds, 69.4 kilos, fighting out of Suriname by way of the Netherlands and ranked number four in the world. Please welcome Andy the Machine. His opponent fights out of the white corner, a two-time world max champion and reigning glory lightweight tournament champion. His professional record, a truly impressive 78 wins with one loss and one draw. He is 5-0 and oh in his glory career. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at 152 pounds, 68.9 kilograms, representing Italy. Here is the number two ranked lightweight in the world, Giorgio the Doctor Patrosian. Your referee for this contest is Al Wickers. Andy, charge. All right, fellas, when I have a good, clean fight, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times, fight clean, fight hard. Any questions, files? Hook them up, let's rock and roll. Back to the corner, sir. There you have it. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, Petrosian and Risty, two of the finest lightweight kickboxers in the world right now. This is truly the best that you can get. It's the highest level in professional kickboxing. And as they say, glory, the world's premier kickboxing league. This is exactly why Petrosian comes out in that southpaw style. Risty immediately goes to work to the head, low kick. Risty's out to prove that Petrosian is boring, that he can be beat, that he's not an un indomitable force in the world of kickboxing. Petrosian out to prove that he is, has been, and will be the absolute best in the lightweight division. Has not been defeated since January 2007 and would like very much to add the Glory Lightweight Championship to his list of accomplishments. High kick by Petrosian. Look at the eyes of Petrosian. That's what Risty alluded to in his interview earlier on. He's got great eyes and he reacts extremely quickly and efficiently inside the ring. Petrosian moves in with the left hand. Risty 
those longer arms and legs, as you saw on the tail of the tape, trying to stretch out, reach out, maybe keep Petrosian at a distance as he gets a little bit of work done upstairs on the doctor. Tried to go for one of those knees. That's his, that's his strong point. That's his secret weapon, or those knees. He catches the knee of Petrosian, takes him down. Low kick that time. Oh, that one was low. That one was between the legs that time. Risty's got to be careful of those low kicks. Big swing and a miss that time by Petrosian. Risty getting away with a little bit of a clinch there. Petrosian being very cautious as usual, trying to sneak in on Risty. Nice combination blows by Petrosian. Risty answering back. Almost got caught with a left hand, but got out quick enough to be able to avoid it. Both guys have experience doing not only kickboxing rules, but also Muay Thai as well. Very, Both very well-rounded fighters, very experienced fighters. I would have liked to see these two guys in the finals, but... I'd, I'll take either one of them against Van Roosmal, and you know that's going to be a great matchup too. You're going to be a winner no matter what. Doesn't matter who wins. If you're a Glory fan, you're a winner. Because whoever advances gets to fight Van Roosmal, and you know that's going to be a good fight no matter which guy it is. And that's the end of round number one. Very back and forth round. Very even round between these December two fighters. 31st, the old guard take on the new blood in the spiritual home of martial arts for Glory 13 Tokyo. Newly crowned heavyweight tournament champ Rico Verhoeven takes on legend of the ring Peter Arts in a mouth-watering matchup. Plus, the welterweights battle to decide the Glory tournament champion. Joe Valtellini, Cara Peccia, Ray Daniels, number one Nikki the Natural Holtz can all compete in an explosive four-man tournament. Glory 13 Tokyo. Watch it live Saturday, December 21st. Round number two coming up here. Petrosian versus Risty. First class all the way in Glory, the world's premier kickboxing league. As we prepare ourselves for round number two, this one's scheduled for three rounds Ladies and gentlemen, three minutes. And of course, the winner moves on to the finals to face Robin Van Roosmal. And later this evening in the Big Apple, New York City, to decide the Glory Lightweight Championship of the World. Here we go. We're underway here. Three minutes on the clock. Risty comes out swinging. Petrosian tries to turn him around. He gets caught in the corner. And Risty. Petrosian called him a dirty fighter. We saw a little bit of it right there. I don't know if it was dirty. It's definitely aggressive. Solid low kick by Petrosian. You can hear that slap echoing throughout the arena. And if we take a look at Risty, you can see he's switching back and forth between southpaw and uh, orthodox style very often. That confuses his opponent. He's, he's sort of like ambidextrous inside the ring. This guy... He, throughout the fight, he constantly switches between southpaw and orthodox. It can really throw you for a loop. But if he's not careful, too, you can catch him when he's when he's switching like that. And it gives you a split second of an opening. And if Petrosian's eyes are as good as Risty claims they are, he might be able to take advantage of that. Whoa, big swing and a miss by Risty that time. Petrosian has not really been able to capitalize on any of the mistakes by Risty so far. Petrosian moving in with a big right hook that time that nailed him in the jaw. You know Risty's feeling that one. Risty now in that orthodox. Stands on switches back now. Overhand right.
Take a look at the total strikes thrown and landed. Petrosian way ahead, 40% to 21, both in punches landed and thrown. And I believe he may have caught one in the family jewels. No coaching. No coaching. Coach. No coaching. Referee all over the case of Petrosian's corner. Trying to shout some instructions to him while he was recovering from the low blow. You're really only allowed to do that during the break, between rounds. Of course, coaches are constantly throwing out advice there, but this referee, Al Wicker, is very strict about that. Whenever there's any kind of a timeout situation or you have to tape the fighter's gloves or the mouthpiece falls out or there's a low blow or something like that, very adamant that you're only taking a break in the action. This is not a break to give your opponent, give your fighter any any advice. Risty moving back in now. Petrosian looks a little bit shaken by that low blow. He's blinking his eyes a lot more. Seems to be fighting a little bit more defensively. Ooh, Risty was about to unload with a big combination there, but it was just a split second after the bell and was able to hold back. So round number two again, pretty even round between these guys. I think Risty might, in my opinion, may be ahead on the scorecards just a bit. I, 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 I did see on those on those stats that Petrosian, you know, has been throwing and landing more. In my opinion, Risty just seems to be fighting the better fight in there right now. Look at Petrosian. He's he got a he's got a weird look in his eyes, especially after that low blow. I think he, that low blow really affected him, kind of badly in there. Look at that, right between the legs that time. I think after that low blow, well, of course, any guy can can agree with me here. You you're not the same man as you are after you take that low blow. Not the same fighter. It zaps your power. It zaps your strength. You automatically start fighting more defensively. Certainly it wasn't intentional, but nonetheless, it's all part of the game. And you gotta roll with the punches. And kicks, I suppose. Risty going right after Petrosian here in this third and final round. Petrosian still looking defensive here after that low blow. He still may not have shaken that thing off. And this is not a Muay Thai contest, so you're not allowed to throw. Risty. Again, doing that dirty style that Petrosian said in his interview, and he goes down! Petrosian is down! He's spitting the mouthpiece out! Petrosian is not getting up! He's got a dazed and confused look in his eye! It's over! I don't believe it! Petrosian has been knocked out in New York City! Andy Risty has done the unthinkable. He has just given Giorgio Petrosian his first loss since 2007. I didn't even catch what kind of a blow it was. I think it was a hook, a left or a right hook to the head, and Petrosian dropped like a box of rocks. Good night. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, history has just been made here in historic Madison Square Garden. I told you this is the building where history happens. Boom! It was a big left hook that put Petrosian down, and he's lucky he didn't get hit with it again on the way down. He's out cold. Look at that. There's a sight you don't see too often. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, Risty just destroyed Giorgio Petrosian, and the doctor is gonna need a doctor. There you see it, the world's most famous arena. I'm, I'm shocked. I am in shock, ladies and gentlemen. I'm almost speechless. That doesn't happen too often. I, I can't, I still can't digest what has just happened. 
Andy Risty has just knocked out Giorgio Petrosian for the first time in his career. I think this crowd is in shock too. Risty's in shock. I don't, nobody can believe what they've just seen. Giorgio Petrosian has been knocked out and we now know that it will be Andy Risty, the man on your screen. He's now got 40 wins and 20 KOs. He will be moving on to the finals later tonight to face Robin Van Roosmalen for the Glory Lightweight Championship of the World. Yeah, go ahead, soak it in, enjoy the moment. You're the first one, kid. You did it. Andy Risty has just proven, he has just jumped to the front of the line. He has just knocked out Giorgio Petrosian. And now, if that weren't enough, he's gonna have to go ahead and face the number one ranked light heavyweight title contender, Robin Van Roosmalen in the finals for the Glory Lightweight Championship of the World. What an incredible turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. Here in the Big Apple, Glory 12, New York City. History has been made. What a shocking turn of events. Everybody is still standing on their feet and they're kind of mumbling and murmuring to themselves. I don't think anybody saw this one coming. I mean, Risty has a pretty good record in his own right. He was 39 and three coming into this fight. Petrosian 78 and one. And so, you know, both these guys have, have never really tasted defeat too much in their career. But Petrosian, the last time he lost, as I've said a few times now, January 2007, it just almost became like a habit. Every time Petrosian steps in the ring, he wins, and you're just going to wait to see how he wins. Is it going to be knockout? Is it going to be decision? But Risty has just turned the kickboxing world upside down with this shocking and devastating knockout of the man... Glory were touting as pound for pound the best kickboxer in the entire world. But we're going to have to rethink that statement as Risty has just dethroned the king. All right, New York, the end comes 43 seconds into the third round. Your winner by knockout, Andy Risty. Wow, I, I really didn't expect to hear that announcement at the end of this fight. But nonetheless, Risty is the winner. He will fight Van Roosmalen later this evening in New York City to decide the best of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Don Royd for Fightbox. Thank you for joining us here for this incredible fight. And we'll see you back here next time for more great glory action. Until then, so long, everybody.